Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Weekender. We preview all the weekend's action. Got loads to talk about this weekend. Loads of big games and a League Cup final as well, which is what I am looking forward to this week, guys. Uh, on the panel this week, I've got Eunice from 100% Chelsea, Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV, and Sam from United People's TV. So, as I say, League Cup final, major final. A lot of people have been sort of moaning about the fixtures and the amount of fixtures and things like that, but still, that is when you get to that day and you get to go down Wembley Way, then it's a it's a beautiful thing, right? What's a cup final? You, you can't not enjoy a cup final day in the build-up to the game. After it, might be a little bit different if you lose, but it's a cup final. You've got to enjoy the experience of what it is. It's, in terms of looking forward to it, it's all down to winning or losing, though, right? I, I haven't been to any League Cup finals, but uh, you guys, I imagine, have. Is that right? It's been, it's been a while since uh, we've been uh, in a final. <laughs> well, you were there last year. Yeah, we were. We're current. current we're still got saying. Still got um, But um, no, it's, it, it's, a, it's a wonderful experience. It's a wonderful day, Wembley. The atmosphere, and um, yeah, if you win it and the Carling Cup, well, not the Carling Cup, the Capital One Cup. Um, <laughs> the I'm, I'm, I'm old that. school. <laughs> um, the, the Capital One Cup, it's an early trophy, and it gives you some confidence. You yeah. know, it gives you that buzz of, and, and feeling of winning early on in the season. So it does give you an advantage. At a crucial time in the season as well. So for, for Liverpool and Man City, it, yeah. could, it could be a real sort of springboard. Um, uh, tune in to our League Cup final preview. Uh, we're going to be chatting to Paul from Redman TV about that game. Uh, but moving on, uh, Robbie, what are you looking forward to this weekend? Oh, I'm looking forward to Arsenal versus Manchester United. I mean, it's going to be, it's always a big game. I know that United haven't been performing um, to their normal selves this season, but mm. it's still always a massive game when we, when we both play. And um, it's a chance for us to, you know, push on in the, in the Premier League after the disappointment against Barcelona. Uh, United are vulnerable, I think, and... I really hope that Arsenal really just go there and just really show that they are taking steps to win this Premier League. And if you know the next couple of games we've got coming up against Man United and Tottenham, I, I personally feel that if we were to win those two games, that we'd kind of be in the driving seat. Or even if we got four points out of those next two games, I'd be more than happy with that. So it's a big game for us. So, yeah, looking forward to that. Would you prefer to have a, sort of, um, a team down the bottom? Not necessarily, you know what, I mean, I, I, I just think at this stage, right, even when you get those teams down the bottom, they're fighting for their lives. Every game from now till the end of the season is going to be tough, every single game. So, I don't know, I think playing Manchester United and the fact that United have got a lot of players missing, especially for me, the big one missing is Rooney. He always does really well against us and for me, him being out, for me, and, and De Gea as well, in goal. Might, if those, be back, might be back. But well, I'm knowing sure. it, he'll probably be back. But the, the main one for me is Rooney. If, if, if Rooney's missing, for me, I'm kind of encouraged by that because he always does well against us. Yeah. Imagine you're looking forward to that a little bit less than... I, I miss the times when it was Arsenal and United, both title favourites going into a season because yeah. that was always that was the, the biggest game. The, the biggest game of the time season. Yeah, a simpler time. Because <laughs> we won most of them. But those were, those were fantastic games though. They, they were, were always the biggest game in the calendar. So what are you looking forward to? Well, obviously, what happened last week with Chris Brunt getting a little cheeky one pound in the face, or maybe in 50p, 20p. I think it was 50p. Is it 50p? Hang on, so, <laughs> trying to clarify, it's 50p. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently West Brom fans are going to pull out a big banner. Yeah. I'm not really sure yeah. what's going to be on that banner. You know, anti-coins, throw notes. I know, in the, in, <laughs> in the heat of the storm, you kind of, uh, Chris Brunt's going to, he might be going, what? But... Ten years from now, that's a nice little thing. You've got this massive banner of Chris Brunt. I don't think we ever would have thought that that would happen, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think we were all safe. I'm safe in saying that. Is that right? Is that fair? Yeah. Um, so if you if you guys had uh, a banner being unveiled this weekend, uh, who would be on it and what would it say, Robbie? You know what? I thought about this because I knew he was going to ask this question, right? And I actually designed a banner. I've designed a banner. I'd like all Arsenal fans. Got your own face on it. All Arsenal fans to unveil like a banner. Steve tattoo, just rob you yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> All Arsenal fans to unveil a banner showing Spurs' Premier League titles. And I designed this before. It would look something like this. Yeah? Got that? Right? So that would be our banner. Yeah, I think that would simple. look pretty cool. That's the it's even got the white on it for Spurs. Look at that. It's good, isn't it? Very good. Very good. Uh, can you top that? What would you go for? Well, we're playing Arsenal this weekend, so we don't really have much to take the piss out of them anymore. So I just yeah. have a Big picture of Van Persie holding a Premier League trophy. Uh, it's that, good. Well, it would it would it would wind him up and it would make me smile. What about a picture of Danny Welbeck though scoring last year? 
in Danny the Wolver, FA Cup. Danny Wolver, that celebration running back, remember? Van Persie winning the title. I yeah, win, on, win the FA Cup, and then since then you've gone, you know, selling your best strikers. You've gone like that. Uh, it was, we sold that. It was, it was right to sell Welbeck at that time. It was Falcao, Welbeck. We went Falcao, and it was a. Bad, yeah, bad Falcao choice. was great, wasn't he? Yeah, it worked incredible. out. Incredible. Chelsea out. would know quite a lot about that. It's incredible, isn't he, Falcao? Yeah. Great player. He's wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> what would you go for, Eunice? A banner, you know, at the moment, it has to be about John Terry, I reckon. Um, you know, JT, got, JT he, must stay, or you know, something, right. something like that. And as much as um, it's popular amongst our fans at the moment, Emanalo out. You know, I think that's quite a popular one <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> with, right. with us at the, the moment. Key messages. Um, but yeah, nothing, nothing too scandalous. Not like your Wenger in, Wenger out crowd, or you know, the LVG hate going on. Over, well, you're older, wait a minute, because oh, this, okay. the, you are keep, I keep seeing this thing about Emanalo out, Emanalo out yeah. with you lot. Yeah. John well, Terry in, you know what I mean, John Terry, what, what's his problem? You know what I mean, he's, he is knocking he on a bit. He hasn't got a problem. He isn't, no, I, <laughs> I think with this John Terry thing, right, my personal opinion is, right, I think he's out of order. Because if this contract thing's being discussed, why doesn't yeah. he wait until it's definitely finished and then come out and say something? For me, he's, he's working this tactically. That's the thing, it's he, not being he's discussed. Come out, he know that the fans are going to be behind him yeah. and he's come out and he said, oh, they offered me a new contract, hoping that all the fans will get behind him and try and force through a new contract for him. I think he's out of order. Oh, no, John Terry, well, we're, we're got, talking about an upstanding citizen here. He would never do anything. <laughs> like, come on, so John Terry, we all know and, yeah, don't know don't and don't hate, know, isn't right? it? Yeah, he, got, he got asked a question and he answered it. Simple as that. Like, there are, there are no what talks. He was doing, there Eunice. are no talks. He yeah, knew what he was doing. But, um, what are you looking forward to, Eunice, this weekend? This weekend, it's all about our, well, our manager situation, oh, Antonio yeah. Conte. Well, apparently, the next 24 hours or so are key. Yeah, um, and it seems like it's all, it's all pretty much done and dusted. Um, nothing confirmed, but it seems like it's, it's about to happen. Mm. So, so what's wrong with Hiddink? I don't get it. It's crazy. Uh, I mean, he's came, he said in interviews, oh, I'm not going to be, you know, yeah. I'm not going to be the manager at the end of the season. Uh, the next 24 hours, apparently, meet with representatives. He's very keen, it seems. Uh, how would you feel about that? Um, you know, I, I did a bit of research into him. I didn't know much about him. You know, we, we, all, yeah, we, 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 we all knew. <laughs> no, we, we all knew he'd managed Juve. We all know he played for Juve and all that. You know, Cut quite it, a legend. Yeah. But um, yeah, as as a manager and his style, he does like to play a three-five-two, which would be new pretty much in the Premier League. It's not a lot of managers that decide to go with that that sort of well. Van Gogh. Five, three, five, three, two, get your numbers in the right order, sir. <laughs> but there's managers who do it right and there's managers who do it wrong. Um, you, with, with Conte, he has, um, he has a character pretty much like Mourinho, except a little bit more um, towards a, a sensical sort of basis. You know, he, um, in, in, in your words, I think he doesn't have a lot um, of controversy around him as much as Mourinho does. Mm. With um, with Conte, very hard, very disciplined, and yeah. you do it my way or no way. Simple as very that. Very Italian. But um, yeah, exactly. Very Italian. I'm looking forward to that. We do need someone with that sort of character and someone to um, to go over to our board and say, "Listen, we're doing this my way and not the way you want me to run things." Yeah, yeah. 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 And there you go. Yeah. 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 Good point. Good point. What was that, Roman? What do you want me to do? Right. Okay. Yeah. If, if that happens, get the popcorn ready. Right, yeah, absolutely. Um, so uh, that's what we're looking forward to. Let us know what you're looking forward to in the comments below uh, about the Terry situation. I'd love to know what you guys think about that. Uh, Conte, do you want him as, as your manager? Are you looking forward to the Arsenal game? And uh, League Cup final, tell us what your thoughts are on that and get your predictions for that. In. And also check out uh, the League Cup preview uh, with Paul from Red Men TV. Uh, like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the Ball Street channel and check out our predictions in the next video. We've got that. We've clearly seen how you do it. But the fact is, it's a cup final. Completely different set of circumstances, completely different atmosphere, massive game, different pressures. Will the same things work now that we